you want to use Portfolio Builder to manage your auction properties, you start by going to Roddy FLS Auctions and then choosing your county. Now, one of the, the, the nice tips that you can do once it's loaded up is you can filter your list. So as you're getting set up for auction, you'll want to decide which properties you're planning on targeting. Because as soon as you hit Dallas, there's 82 properties. But it's important to be able to filter. So just like we were able to filter on the foreclosure site, inside Portfolio Builder, you can come in here and you can start clicking different property characteristics of things that you would do to filter it out. So if, I'm just going to say I want year built uh, 2000. And I want, uh, I don't want any commercial. I just want single family residential and I'm going to hit search. So now that I do that, instead of 82 properties, I've got nine properties. So now these are the ones that I'm looking at to take the filter a little bit further. The first thing I like to do before I go start driving the properties is I click through and see what they look like. This property looks great. I can click here and I can see it's a, yeah. You know, we think the opening bid will be around 300,000 and it's worth 544. So as I see the nice ones, I can click to see what I like. I can also look at the Roddy pro profile sheet like what we saw before. But before you start driving, you should spend at least 20 or 30 minutes going through this list and deciding if you like it or you love it. I like this one. I'm going to put a heart next to it. It's going to become one of my favorites. I look at the next one. It looks good. It's going to become one of my favorites. I'll click through here. I'm going to say this one is a little bit tighter than I like the way that those and you know, the way that the property is or it kind of looks like it's some sort of a townhome with an HOA. So I'm going to say I'm not I'm, I can either leave it off my favorites or I can put a frowny face on it says I never want to see this thing. I don't want to see this one next month either. So this is a favorite and this means ignore. I'm going to put ignore on there. And as I click through the rest of them, we'll decide you know if they're good or not. So I'm going to let's say that I went through and I decided that I like the rest of them and they are now filtered. So there's nine of them there. But when I come back, I don't have to filter next time. I can say, I just want to see my favorites in Dallas. And if I click the favorites in Dallas, it's just going to show those seven that I put as my favorite uh, on there as we're looking at the different filters. So again, here's our properties as we get in there using the filter to get it.